This week on the show, Stephen Miller will be here to show off this year's Epcot Food and Wine Festival merchandise. Then we'll give you the scoop on flyboarding in Orlando. We'll also have the latest theme park news and more coming at you right, right now. now. This week's show is brought to you by MEI Travel, our preferred travel agent for Disney World, Universal, cruises, and all your vacation planning needs. For a free quote with no obligation, visit MEITravel.com. Undercover Tourist is our recommended supplier of discount tickets to Florida and California theme parks and attractions. For the best deals and planning tips, go to UndercoverTourist.com or find them on Facebook and Twitter. Fun Spot America is Central Florida's only family-owned theme park. Offering two locations, Orlando and Kissimmee, both theme parks provide safe, clean fun. For more information, visit fun-spot.com. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the show. I'm Banks. And I'm Elisa. And we're leaving on a jet plane. We are currently, as of the show debuting, in the air on our way to California. <laughs> True, yes indeed. We are going to D23 Expo. My first time in California. Your daughter's first time in California. My boyfriend's first time. I'm very excited. Yeah, a lot, a lot, a lot of firsts. Um, mm -hmm. I know this is a couple days before, but are you packed? You ready to go? No way. You know, <laughs> last minute packer, just like, That's just, just like me. That's the way huh? it happened. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to be prepared, but it, I'll, I'll be ready. Well, let's view, prepare our viewers for a meetup. If you're coming to the D23 Expo, be sure to meet us at the Theme Park Connection booth at 1 p.m. on Sunday. You and I will be there, Patrick will be there, Quinn will be there, our producers Matt and Jackie. It's going to be a fun time. We hope to meet a lot of our fans out there and we hope everyone who is going to go to the expo has a great time. I know you're going to have a great time. Oh yeah. At expo, at Disneyland. All of the above. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well let's get to what's going on here in town with News in the Cube. First up this week, for those who have dreamed of living on Walt Disney World property, more home sites in Disney's Golden Oak development are now for sale. This week, Disney began sales of the Four Seasons private residences. Offering private entry to the Four Seasons Resort next door, these single-family custom homes will feel like an extension of the resort with a private entry and access to the amenities at Four Seasons, which includes a full-service spa, five pool areas, tennis courts, and six restaurants. The resort will also offer these homeowners in-home services such as spa treatments, mm -hmm. residential cleaning, and in-residence dining. The half-acre home sites will include custom residences ranging in size from 6,000 to over 10,000 square feet. Four Seasons private residences start at $5 million and construction is set to begin later this summer. Visit our blog for more information. You just pull that out right, right. now. I'll write a check. I've got this. This is fine. <laughs> We're going to be there in no time. <laughs> we, we filmed an episode of Four Seasons. It's a beautiful resort. Yes, it's I, absolutely gorgeous. I, I fell in love with that place. So to be able to live next to that and, and to go into those pool areas. It's like a dream. It's basically like living in an upscale resort for the rest of your life. I want a home at Walt Disney World. <laughs> <laughs> we, we can raise the money, right? Uh, GoFundMe or, or, or something, an Indiegogo. I'm sure people will donate. Well, we'll just have to have like 10 roommates to chip in. <laughs> make it our studio too. We'll, we'll, we'll make it happen. <laughs> La, uh, awesome. Filmed on location at Walt Disney World. <laughs> There we, that way we can have it every week at our own little studio. Okay, you know what? This, it's something we can dream, but it's if we can dream. dream it, we can do it. Right. All right. That sounds familiar. Yeah, it's from Horizons. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Legoland Florida is now the first theme park to have its own currency listed on exchange boards. Legoland has entered into an exclusive partnership with TravelX, an independent foreign exchange business, to list Legoland dollars on their currency exchange boards at 55 locations. The Legoland dollar will be available for purchase at a one-to-one -one exchange rate to the U.S. dollar. They will only be available for purchase with U.S. dollars, though. With a $50 purchase, guests will receive $50 in Legoland dollars, plus free parking, an upgrade to the Legoland water park, and an order of Granny's apple fries. Mm. Legoland dollars can be spent anywhere at the Legoland Resort. I like. I kind of <laughs> like this idea. I mean, you know, Disney has their Disney dollars. Um, I don't know if Universal does or not. Um, not that I know of. Um, so uh, a lot of parks have these yeah. kind of like park currency. So to be able to 
you know, skip the process of, you know, you're coming into the country and you just immediately exchange mm -hmm. for those. It's also a good keepsake to have if you wanted yes. to keep like a dollar or two for a child and they'll have it forever and ever. I agree. I definitely agree. And, and the, the, add the free parking and the water park. And the apple fries. That, it, that's definitely worth it if, you're coming, <laughs> if you know you're coming to Legoland Florida, for sure. Okay. Dollywood is building a new wooden roller coaster full of firsts. They have announced Lightning Rod as both the world's fastest wooden roller coaster and the world's first launching one. Set to roll next March, the thrilling $22 million ride also marks the single largest attraction investment in the Dollywood company's history. Themed after a tricked out 1950s era hot rod, <laughs> this one reminds me of, the lightning rod will launch riders from 0 to 45 miles per hour, 20 stories up its lift hill to one of the ride's first airtime moments. Riders will also plummet down a 165 foot drop and along a 3800 foot track to a top speed of 73 miles per hour. I love me some coasters, so this is, Dollywood's always been one of those places on my uh, theme park bucket list to really mm -hmm. go to and experience. They got a lot of fun rides mm -hmm. there and this looks to be another great addition. This sounds super scary and the fact that it's a wooden roller coaster makes it that much more unique. When you look at the concept art, there's this one piece of concept art of uh, the, the track and the train going through the hillside and you can see the track is just hugging the train perfectly going over the hills and down. <laughs> it's just like airtime after airtime. It's It looks so much fun. There I can't is. wait. <laughs> Hi everybody. Welcome to this week's Hidden Mickey. So we're in Epcot in the Canadian Pavilion and as you past the steps into the pavilion, the left totem pole, it's a tall one, has black classic Mickeys on both sides near the top by the raven's wings. You have to look up really high, and if you're looking into the sun, you won't see it. But it, again, there's a hidden Mickey on both sides of the, of the totem pole, so take a look yourself. Happy hunting. Summer's coming on at Fun Spot with more rides, more value, more memories. This summer, ride Orlando's only wooden roller coaster. Go on the Freedom Flyer or ride our elevated go-kart tracks. We've got the all-new Screamer, also new Water Wars, new games like Transformers and Dirty Driver. And you can feed over a hundred alligators. Less than half the price of the big parks. Two Fun Spots, Orlando and Kissimmee. Come on out to Fun Spot where it's huge. Have you ever wanted to feel like you're flying up into the air like Iron Man? Or maybe you've wanted a pair of rocket boots. Well, now you can, but instead of fuel powered, it's water powered. That's right, it's called flyboarding and you can do it next time you're in Orlando. Take a look. Hi, I'm here at one of our beautiful parks here in Orlando, Lake Underhill Park, but I'm not here to check out the scenery. I'm here to do this. don't know what is flyboarding? So flyboarding is a, it's a hydro flight device which basically means uh, the watercraft is uh, instead of shooting water out the back it's uh, rerouting it down a hose, a 60 foot hose out to a board that you're on that's coming out at your feet so you have about 250 horsepower of water shooting out from thrusters under your feet uh, while you're flyboarding. It's awesome. Now how'd you get started here? So we've actually partnered with uh, one of the highest ranked female athletes in the flyboard sport uh, in the whole world. And uh, currently she's actually on a contract, a six month contract performing every day in China. Uh, and we have some other instructors who are just some of the world's top flyboard uh, athletes uh, who we work with. So that's kind of how we got into the thing. Uh, how safe is it for beginners? It's incredibly safe. Um, I tell everybody everything floats, you know, your helmet floats, your life, ja uh, life jacket floats, uh, the board floats. Uh, I mean, everything is very safe. We go through a pretty extensive uh, 10 or 15 minute introduction to the sport and kind of how to keep things safe and uh, make sure you have a good time. Are there any restrictions, age, weight, that sort of thing? Yeah, typically we, uh, we can only take people who are 15 years of age or older. Um, we don't really have a top end restriction as long as you're physically fit. We just flew a couple of folks, who, uh, a couple gentlemen who were both uh, in their 80s and they did a great job, they nailed it. Uh, and uh, weight restrictions, not really. I mean, we, we've, we've flown uh, football players before, you know, 300 plus pound uh, you know, quarterbacks, stuff like that. I mean, it's not a problem, so. 
That's awesome. I've never seen anything like this. Now, where are you located? So we're uh, all throughout Orlando, Kissimmee, and Sebastian as well. Uh, we're expanding to a couple additional cities in uh, Florida in the next coming months too. Fantastic. And about how much is it to uh, experience flyboarding? So typically we do a 30 minute instructional uh, that includes your safety training, your rentals of all your equipment, everything. Uh, that's about $99 typically. That was amazing. I'm definitely going to be coming back and bringing all my friends. I felt like Iron Man. If you guys want to check it out too, go to fullthrottleflyboard.com. The next time you plan a Disney vacation, book with a travel agency that's been specifically designated as an authorized Disney vacation planner. Unlike some other agencies, many of our agents' exclusive knowledge of Walt Disney World can help you get the most out of your vacation, and the assistance of our travel professionals can help you get a customized Disney vacation that's just right for you, your family, and your budget. Start planning your magical vacation today by visiting mousefantravel.com. All right, Steven, so you came here today and brought some amazing new merchandise options for the Epcot Food and Wine Festival. Well, this is one of my favorite festivals of the year. It returns to Epcot September 25th, runs 53 days this year through November 16th, and merchandise has been a big part of it. Now, I'm part of the Disney theme park merchandise team, and uh, so we have this entire program, and it's really divided into three distinct programs this year. We have your Taste Your Way Around the World, and that features the 20th anniversary uh, logo, uh, along with uh, the icons of World Showcase. There's a great character program uh, as well. It features Chef Figment and Chef Mickey this year. And then we have Brews Around the World, which is a program we introduced a couple of years ago, but we also brought those in. I uh, brought that back. And uh, this year I brought just a handful of my favorite new items. I think one of the items people are really looking forward to are the yep. Dooney and Burke handbags. I've been eyeing those. <laughs> uh, these are gorgeous handbags. Three different styles they have, and each one is going to have a hang tag here, theme for the uh, 20th anniversary. Um, but really fun icons of all different uh, world showcase uh, uh, things, you know, from each of the different countries. So even on hidden on here, there's a, a football, I think, somewhere representing uh, United States of America there. So <laughs> uh, other favorite items here, something new this year is a, a wine carrier. And uh, this is going to be perfect because we're also offering two specially designed wines. Um, the one is a Cabernet Sauvignon and the other one is a Chardonnay. And they're created especially for the Epcot International Food and Wine Festival. Each one's going to have a 20 years uh, cork and it has uh, the World Showcase mm -hmm. icons on here. And again, something very special we're offering for 
the event this year. That's a great um, keepsake. Another fun item here, which I just, it's probably my favorite hat. Uh, it's a Brews Around the World hat, and it does contain a <laughs> bottle opener here on the front. So you can take this, a great thing if you're out and about enjoying the day. Convenient. And convenient, very good, because I always seem to forget mine, you know, somewhere <laughs> where, wherever I am. And another fun item that's new this year are these salt and pepper shakers. Um, you know, they were inspired by some home decor items we created of the different trash cans. Yeah. Uh, these are trash cans and their theme for the 20 years of the Epcot International Food and Wine Festival. Other returning favorites this year, we do have the uh, dessert plate here, the, the food plate, um, mm -hmm. and the graphics on it are, features the taste your way around the world, the different world showcase icons. We also have the two pack of the wine bottles. We also have the stemless glasses as well. Pins are going to return this year. We do have a limited release pin uh, uh, as well as a four pin set. And then I love the uh, recipe cards that have pins. This has the Canadian cheddar cheese soup, which is one of my favorite things at, at uh, World Showcase oh, as well yeah. as the apple strudel here. And then new this year as well, we're going to offer a pin for Disney Vacation Club members. Um, so you can find these again uh, throughout World, Sh uh, without World Showcase as well as um, in Future World. Um, other fun items I think, uh, you know, uh, are the uh, logo tee here that we have. Um, but the neat part about this, it has the, the again, taste your way around the world, but on the back, it does feature a checklist, and I know that uh, I need to keep track of all the places that I've been. Uh, this is an alphabetical order that you're going to find this year. And, uh, and again, it's a, something fun that uh, I think that guests are really going to enjoy. Votes for uh, uh, women and men, or have a different ladies cut as well as a men's cut uh, for that. So again, the whole host of different items you have, you can find these at the Festival Center, um, which is located between the Universe of Energy and Mission Space um, pavilions in Future World, as well as then we're going to have things throughout World Showcase, right at the entrance to World Showcase, and then different kiosks throughout there as well. And then some of our World Showcase countries are going to be introducing some new items, uh, just themed to food, wine, that kind of thing that you're going to find, uh, usually in front tables as you go into each one of the pavilion shops. Okay. This is fantastic. Oh my goodness. So I don't even know where to begin. I definitely want the Dooney and Burke. And I sense like the, the purple. Yeah, well, you know, I think with Figment, uh, obviously that's a big color palette here. Chef Figment's a plush we're offering this year. I know in previous years we've offered a Chef Duffy. This year we thought with the 20 years it makes sense to offer Figment, who's obviously been a part of Epcot since the very beginning. And there is definitely a purple color palette to that, as you can see it within the apron here. The Turvis Tumbler that you have here as well, the hand towels, things like that. Um, again, a lot of great offerings that you're going to have. Um, stay tuned to the Disney Parks blog because we're going to have some other idea, uh, some other information about a new pin, like uh, pin color collection that's okay. themed to Remy from Ratatouille, uh, as well as we have a first look inside the Festival Center as it gets closer to Perfect. opening. Perfect. Is there anywhere else besides the parks that people can get any of this merchandise? It's only at Epcot. Only it's only for, um, and unfortunately we're not going to be offering anything online, mm -hmm. so you're really going to have to make your way out to Epcot. Especially the Festival Center is probably going to be your best uh, option because it's going to have the best assortment. But again, throughout all of World Showcase as well, you'll be able to find some of these from different places. That's great. So lots of details here. Oh, I even see these Vinylmations. The Vinylmations are great this year. Uh, it features the Swedish Chef, and it's part of our Eaches collection. Uh, the Eaches are, you give one box, and you have basically one common figure, which says on the actual packaging here, and then the Chaser. The Chaser, uh, of course, here is uh, the chef that has uh, the food kind of a, well, I think his cooking all creation kind of went all <laughs> over the place there. Not so much in the pan. Uh, but these, uh, the, the Eaches collection have been a lot of fun. It's a great way to kind of uh, have a small collection and obviously something fun themed, especially with the Swedish Chef from the Muppets. Um, and particularly timing since the Muppets are coming back to yes. TV. So we're excited for that as well. Fantastic. So lots of great merchandise here. You heard Steven, only available at Epcot. So make sure you make it out to Food and Wine Festival this year. Thank you so much, Steven. Thank you. Really good to see you. With D23 coming up this weekend, many people are probably finishing up their cosplays in Disney Bounds and a lot of people go way over the top for them. Whether you're going to D23 or another convention, don't forget you have to get your amazing costume to the convention center, so make sure it can either fit in your luggage or come apart into different pieces. Also, fake weapons and props may be tough to get through airport security, so you may want to ship them to your hotel ahead of time. And last but definitely not least, if your cosplay isn't comfortable and puts stress on you, you may not want to wear it all day. Conventions are supposed to be fun, not stressful. Skip the lines with undercover tourists, crowd calendars, touring plans, and mobile apps. Stop paying full price for your family vacation and visit Undercover Tours today. 
And now for this week's incredibly short but exciting calendar. That's right, the D23 Expo is coming up this Friday through Sunday at the Anaheim Convention Center in Anaheim, California. We'll have coverage straight from the convention on next week's show and on our social media and website throughout this weekend, so you don't want to miss it. Mm -mm. Remember, you can subscribe to our calendar at attractionsmagazine.com to stay up to date on these events and more. And now we want to thank, as always, MEI Travel, our preferred travel agent for cruises, Disney World, Universal, and all your other vacation planning needs. For a free quote with no obligation, visit meitravel.com. And much thanks to Undercover Tourist, our recommended supplier of discount tickets to Orlando and California attractions. For more information, visit undercovertourist.com. And thanks to Fun Spot America, Central Florida's only family-owned theme park. They provide safe, clean fun in Orlando and Kissimmee. Visit fun-spot.com for tickets and more information. Remember, you can watch a brand new episode of the show each week on YouTube, Bright House Cable TV Channel 999, iTunes, and through the O-Town app on Roku and Amazon Fire. You can also visit attractionsmagazine.com for news and videos throughout the week and find us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Snapchat, and Instagram. If you enjoy our show, please support it by subscribing to our magazine, through our website, in our app, or on the Nook. There's also some new places to see us. If you have Bright House Cable TV in Central Florida, Bakersfield, Birmingham, Detroit, or Indianapolis, you can now find us on channel 999 under the travel section. All right, so we've talked about this a lot. Uh, on our way to D23 mm -hmm. Expo, once again, if you're there at the Expo, be sure to come by on Sunday to the Theme Park Connection booth at 1 p.m. to come say hi to us. Patrick, Quinn, and, and all of us will all be there. Definitely. We so. want to meet you. Follow us for all the updates coming from D23. Yes. And know that next week's show will be from D23. All right, so i got, I got to tell you the, I got to tell you something. Uh, okay. Almost a little surprise for you. Um, so I, I know this is just our personal trip itinerary. We're going to go up to Universal Studios in Hollywood the last yeah. day we're there. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. On the way there, um, I think we're going to make a little detour to Hollywood Boulevard. Oh, yeah? So we'll, we'll go see the real Chinese theater oh my on Hollywood Boulevard. And we'll, we'll do a little sightseeing before we have to Universal. Yay! Do the tourist thing. We'll be, we'll be complete tourists while we're Yay. there in California. I'll bring my fanny pack. And <laughs> 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 exactly. You, uh, uh, well, I'm sure we'll post lots of photos. So, if you want, what's your Twitter? Elgo33. So and I'm e Banksley. So, not only will we be tweeting and doing all the stuff on attractions, we can follow our personal accounts for some fun touristy Definitely. related Yay. items as well. It's going to be a lot of fun. I wanted to surprise you with that. Oh, so. that's exciting. Yes. Woo, California. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us, and we hope you'll tune in again next week. Until then, visit your local attractions, try something new, which you're going to be doing. Stay safe, but most of all, have, have fun. fun. will be here to show off some good food. <laughs> <laughs> it went crazy. First up this week, for, I have an itch, hold on. Ah. <laughs> itch, get the itches. First up this week, for those who have dreamed of nice Legoland daughters, daughters. <laughs> <laughs> this week, Disney began sales at the Force. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the Force. <laughs> Finishing up their cosplays and Disney bounds, and a lot of people will go. Oh, 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 oh.